I figured I'd make an, another video this morning about uh, the KDE and why, you know, they, you know, the whole GNOME, there, you know, a lot of people don't use GNOME or KDE. They don't use, they use a, what do they call that? A, you know, a, anyway, they use a different system without the desktop man, manager. So the desktop, you know, runs on the Linux, you know, they, and they use uh, the two most popular one. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's other ones, but the two main ones are KDE and GNOME. X, they're the X window managers and all that. And they, they, they create what you see on the screen. And um, the reason I like KDE is because I, for in the first place, I'm not a computer scientist. And I didn't learn how to write code and all that kind of stuff. I just started using Linux because Microsoft said they owned the software on my computer. And I said, no, I don't agree to that. And so I started using Linux. And, you know, and KDE is a lot easier to learn. It's kind of designed to be easy to use. And the people who create it make it so it's easy to use. There's visual cues that you can see that tell you what to do, you know, and you can kind of find your way around. With uh, GNOME, you kind of, it, it's like GNOME was created by programmers for programmers. And it's designed to be, you know, programmed on the, the command line. And you learn how to use the command line with KDE, because you can use the command line with KDE. It's just that you don't have to use it with KDE. And with GNOME, you kind of have to use the, the command line to program your computer. And, and what you do is you set up your little, um, they call them, uh, no, like dot com, uh, they call them dot, uh, your dot files, your dot, uh, dot vmrc, and dot bash rc, or dot z shell rc. And these are how you configure your configuration of these programs, you know, Vim and, and Z shell, I use Z shell rather than bash is the default, but I use Z shell. And, uh, and you, you can configure it to look any way you want, you know, the colors, everything. And, um, so you do that and you can extend it, make it extensions and make it smarter and, you know, and, uh, Vim is your text editor, and you can kind of configure Vim to be an integrated development environment. It takes a lot of work. You got to learn a whole bunch of different stuff. You got to use Tmux, which is your little, you know, multiplexer, so you can have different pages and different things going on on different parts of the screen and stuff like that. And um, and it's kind of interesting. It's interesting. The only th my th issue is, is I spend hours and hours and hours getting Vim and Tmux all set up, and then I what, now what do I do with it? You know, that's where I'm at. And, but uh, so start out. I recommend if you're think I t I recommend that you start using Linux for because the. Uh, like I said, I don't have anything against big corporations, you know, because they do things that, you know, even creating the internet wouldn't, there would be no internet net if it wasn't for big corporations. So I'm not against big corporations, but I'm, I am for small business. You know, I am for family farms and little per, small, you know, home office based free enterprise where you create your own little company and it's prosperous and it can, you know, trade, you know, free trade in the, you know, on a home office scale. And um, that's all I'm trying to do. I don't want to be controlled by a corporation any more than I want to be controlled by the state or anything else. The only thing I want to be controlled by is God. You know, I want to, and I'm not very good at that either, you know, but that's kind of my compass my moral compass is God makes the rules and I follow them to the best of my ability and uh, I'm getting better and better I hope anyway so but so KDE is very visual it has a very visual kind of way it's set up and you get in there 
The first thing I always do when I install a new installation is I squeeze the little, I like having the toolbar down on the bottom of the screen because it's right next to you, that puts it next to your keyboard where all everything is. So everything's kind of down at the bottom and then the, the top is completely open to, there's no limit, you know, it's all, it's open sky. And um, so, and I put that down there, and, but I usually narrow it down because I don't like that big wide the way it is when you first install it. I, I kind of squeeze it down a little bit, make everything smaller. And then over on the far left end of it is the, uh, you know, the start button, just like Windows. It's over on the far left end of the toolbar down there. They call that the panel. And you can click on that. If you right click on that, you can switch the way that your your list looks you know and i always usually put it back to the old fashioned way because that's the best way all all the improvements different styles of the, you know the, the what do they call that launcher your task launcher thing um were not improvements they're just changes and they made it in my opinion because the way they are you can kind of see the whole list of everything you know and you can go up to different categories and but you can see the whole list and to most of the time with the other ones you can't you can see you have to scroll or something it's or they're not in the list they're like spread all over the screen and i just like that little list down there on the left bottom left corner and it's easy to find you know navigate around in there and find what you're looking for and then the next thing after you get that all set up is uh you know you you select the you know alternate you know uh, task launcher setting anyway then you go you start up the settings you know one of the deals and it'll be on there by default on your favorites list right there one of the items will be the settings list and you open that up and you can set a whole bunch of different things like how long the computer will stay on without it with no activity it's kind of set by default for two minutes and which is ridiculous you know so i always set it to dim the screen after 15 minutes and and turn off the screen after an hour is what i usually set but it's up whatever you can set it whatever way you want to and then there's, uh, you can create uh, keyboard shortcuts in there. You know, there's just a whole bunch of settings. The color, you know, set your colors. You know, the, the, the neat thing about Linux is you get to be the artist. You know, Windows is, Windows is boring. I don't know what it is, man. It's like they got these beautiful pictures on there, but they're Microsoft chooses what the pictures are and I'm just why why do they do that why do they have to be in control you know what, what do they have against why are they so against people creating their own thing you know because Linux you're you're totally free man I mean I go back and forth right now I'm kind of using Windows mostly and I gotta tell you man it's like the note the difference is very dramatic noticeable the, and it's about the freedom, you know, it's because when you're using Windows, it's very obvious that Windows is in control. When you're using Linux, I mean, there's certain things. I mean, if Linux ha has rules. You have to follow certain rules and stuff like that. I mean, it's an operating system that has, you know, you can't just do anything you want to do. But you can tell and with Linux, you're kind of in control and you can do whatever you want to with it within they're you know whatever those you know the operating system requires you to do you know it's set up so you are the artist not not linux isn't the artist you are you know it, it's linux is set up so that you can be the artist and you decide what your com computer is going to look like if you don't like the toolbar on the bottom you can move it to the top or you can move it to the left or the right side you can do all kinds of things like that it's really easy and you you set it up to uh look out whatever way you want to and then you can use some a lot of the programs you can run like zoom i can run zoom on linux really fine easy 
you know, and but then there's other stuff. You can't run Adobe Creative Cloud won't run on Linux. And it's, you know, so there's, you know, they try to, the corporations try to, no, we don't want them to let those guys use our stuff. You know, that's just the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. But anyway, whatever. And because um, I'm trying to create a culture uh, 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 where, and I don't know if it'll work, you know. I mean, I think the best, I like integrated um, everything. You know, integrated medicine is the best medicine. Integrated software is the best where you have your, I, I recommend building your base on Linux. So you are in control of this, the, your, your computers. And then you have one or two like Windows machines or Apple machines. And, um, but, uh, um, yeah, I just make your, build your system so that you have your free enterprise, you know, keep your own free enterprise, your own, exercise your creative freedom, you know, don't let these, these corporations herd you around, like, you know, I grew up on a farm, we used to herd the, you know, we would have to herd, build these corrals and with these little walkways and we'd bring the animals down the chute and give them their shots and stuff like that and brand them and different things like that and and that's why I, it's like sometimes that's what I feel like when I'm run, working on windows it's like this corporation is hurting me you know they can't come down this way and we'll give you your shot you know especially these days with the whole coronavirus business going on man that's exactly what I they're treating us like animals they're treating us like domestic animals, the, these corporations and these people. You know, we need a world government and we need big businesses, but we need them to operate according to the divine rule of law, not some selfish control freak kind of culture. That's just not going to be acceptable. It's not... I don't think it's going to last. I mean, I'm I, from what I understand, all the prophecies and everything like that, it's going to happen. And it'll be for a short time, there will be kind of a dark, oppressive world government. This is a Buddhist theory about the, uh, you know, Maitreya Buddha, and there'll be a dark, oppressive world government system, you know, and then out of that will grow this bright, you know, the, the, kind of their their version of whatever's coming next you know the Baha'i faith calls it the most great peace you know and it probably you know therefore world unity and they say there will be a political unity first they call that the lesser peace and then that'll be followed by the most great peace which is the spiritual unity of all mankind and I think that's a great idea and I I think that Linux and, and KDE they help that along that that culture that bring that attitude into human nature and uh, a, a world unity and cooperation peace and cooperation instead of competition you know I, I think there's going to be competition to a certain kind or level of competition but there's going to be a lot more cooperation in the future the whole world is going to be one civilization and everybody it's just like we used to think about the united states oh and now it's going to be global the whole world this is a is one nation earth is one nation and all mankind are its citizens and that's a good thing i like it and we got to stand up you know uh, you know as liberal Democrats or whatever, you know, Western philosophy, you know, capitalist democracy. We need to stand up for capitalist democracy in, in that one world civilization instead of just running away because we don't like other people's ideas. That's that's ridiculous. We need to get in there and talk it out and, fight, you know, and we need to respect everybody else because there's a lot of different ideas and some of them are pretty good ideas. So just think about that, you know, follow God, seek God and follow God and love and obey God and have a great day. Thanks.